It's Friday the 5th of April. Hello, kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our weekend weather update and our special rain watch update as we take a look at the rainmakers that are potentially coming in to the New Zealand area over the next seven days. Kicking off with the animated wind map showing air pressure. I've got a little bit bigger picture this time showing the tropics and also Antarctica to give you an idea of where the storms currently are because it's pretty quiet in the New Zealand area at the moment considering we are now into April. Stormy stuff down here. In fact, it's so far down towards Antarctica, it's not really affecting us. We've got high pressure coming out of Australia. That's what's coming in for the weekend. A few showers this morning uh, in the north of the country, clearing away now, and that high rolls in. So slightly cooler nights coming up for the next couple of nights. But once that high departs out to the east next week, it brings down subtropical winds. Next week looks well above average temperature-wise, warmer than it should be as those north to northwesterly winds pick up. So let's get into that forecast. We'll kick off firstly with the high and the cloud around it. So this is where it's centered tonight uh, at uh, 7 p.m. Friday. Southerly flow around New Zealand, a few showers around. As we go through the weekend, the high moves in and the weather is pretty settled. By the time we get to Sunday evening, it is just moving out to the east of us. So it does look Fairly sunny in many places. There will be a bit of coastal cloud, as you can see, around the edges, but still sunny weather through the middle portion. So we should get some fairly settled weather. And of course, don't forget on Sunday, daylight saving ends. So you get a whole extra hour in the day. It's 25 hours long. Put the clocks back. Fall back in fall. I know we say autumn in New Zealand, but saying autumn back doesn't make any sense, does it? Let's have a look at the rainfall for the next 48 hours. And there isn't much, just a few showers in the very south. And a couple up here coming around to the top. So they sort of start off here and move around to the north. They'll be isolated. Not everyone will get them. And if you do get them, not a huge amount of wet weather actually uh, in that system. Maybe here we're getting up to about 5 to 10 millimetres. So it's not a huge amount. So you can see those showers here on Saturday moving in that southeasterly flow, going around this big high. And there is some low pressure in New South Wales producing thunderstorms for them. By Sunday, the high has moved over to the eastern side. You can still see a couple of isolated showers. So where you see that little blue blob, just the risk of a shower, it doesn't mean you'll necessarily get one. It also means it'll be a bit cloudy as well, because obviously you need a bit of cloud to make the shower. Uh, the wet weather in Australia starts to move out to sea, and by Monday, it kind of drops down more into the Southern Ocean. And you end up with this line of rain between Queensland and sort of the lower part of the Tasman Sea. This area of rain, is being held up by the high pressure system. It's like a car being stuck behind a slow truck. So that's the truck, that's the car with the rain in it. So it's slowly trying to get towards us, but it's got to wait for the big old high pressure system to clear away. A few easterly uh, winds uh, producing a couple of showers at the top of the country, a northwesterly flow, subtropical, kicks into the south. Your overnight temperatures in Southland, Otago, inland parts of Canterbury, they really start to jump up as we go into next week. But look at our friends over here in Tasmania. Cold southwester blows in for them. And that starts to form a new low here on Monday on the back of the high pressure system. That's all the rain starting to push into Fiordland and southern parts of Westland. Strong gale force westerly winds in the mix. And it is subtropical for many places. So it's going to be a warmer than usual Tuesday for this time of the year. A couple of showers also in the north here, fairly mild. It's going to feel for many places like it is still summer. As we get through to Wednesday, still in that warm west to northwest wind for most places, subtropical for a number of regions, rain starting to push into the west coast, and that low gets a little bigger. And on Thursday, that's when we start to expect that rain to become more widespread. This is still not 100% locked in, but it is looking fairly good. One of the things that might stop it from happening, we said this yesterday, is the high. Think of the high pressure zones as like lungs. They kind of breathe in and they breathe out. And as they do that, this is the center of it here, when they breathe in and they get a little bigger, they expand, it can push back against something like this. And it can keep it waiting a little bit longer, or it goes the other way and the high shrinks a little bit and moves in a bit quicker. But at this stage, Thursday's when that rain starts, and by Friday, low pressure around the North Island and the Upper South Island. Uh, if you're in Marlborough and Nelson, this is a great map to look at, but just don't 100% lock it in. Go to our app, double check what the rain forecast is. Our um, rain data on our website and our app 
updates every single hour. This is obviously just a snapshot when we recorded this, but you do get the idea. High pressure out to the east, the next one way over here near Western Australia. So it does allow some room for that low to grow. And with the big blocking high, subtropical airflows coming in, hopefully warm and producing a little more rain for those very dry regions. So just to lastly uh, end on this rainfall stuff, we've got the departure from normal. How much wetter or drier is it for this time of the year compared to usual? Look at the North Island. You've got blue, white and red, which means, and the same in the South Island, it's patchy. It's not necessarily as it lined up just in that other map. But let's try and make sense of it. This is the next seven days animation showing the rain moving through, coming out of Australia here next week. And that's where you start to see some heavier falls. It is worth noting in these pale blue areas, there's one here, another one around Canterbury, another one here in the North Island. That's the very bottom of the scale. So that's what we mean. The, fra the rain bands coming in are fractured. But over here on the west coast, you're talking about two to 300 millimetres. Up here around Nelson, at this early stage, 80 to 100. Same around Northland in the far north. But this could still move around a bit. So don't get too excited, but you can get a little excited because if you do need rain, there is some at least coming next week, for most places anyway. That's all from me for this Rainwatch update for this week. We will see you again on Monday. Have a great weekend.